got any proof at all except that bit of wool. This isn't proof. It could have come from anywhere. A lost sheep, a bird building a nest, anything. Yeah, could have. Do you really think it's him? He looks like a killer. Could be him. But it'd finish old Ebenezer if anything happened to that dog. What are you going to do? I can't do anything, Em. How can I? In this time, I tell you. Stupid dumb dog. Better times will come, then you sell. Nein, nein. I will tell you when it's time. You hear? Take them away, boy. How do you mean? Not interested in rabbit skins. Why not? No market anymore. But I've got hundreds more at home, Mr. Mibus. Too bad. What am I going to do with them? What you like. Bury them. I should have left them in their burrows. Good idea. In future, leave them in the burrows. That's right. Finish. I don't need you anymore. Go! I don't understand, Mr. Moore. No, you leave now. Daddy. Good day, Bruno. Want some rabbit skins? Might just knock him back, did he? No new bike for a while then, eh? He just gave me the push. He sacked you. Yep. Why? He reckons it's because I took half a day off last week to ride over the Barossa to see Lottie. He can't sack you for that. Can't he then? The real reason is because the harvest are all finished now. And he can save more money by laying me off. But you've been working for him for years. Yeah, I know. What are you going to do? I guess I just keep looking. I get a day's work here and there. Gosh, I'm sorry, Eddie. Don't tell your dad, will you? He doesn't think much of my prospects as it is. See you, Eddie. show you better warrants than this. Come, there's plenty for us both. No, you don't understand, Mr. Blitz. I'm bringing in all my traps. There's no market for rabbit skins anymore. Of course, it's different for you. You get a lot of good stuff. You might still be able to sell some in your dunder. What are you gonna live on, Mr. Blitz? All alone out here, if things get worse. The earth is rich. And we have each other, my brother and I. This is prize ram's been killed. They found it in the pen this morning with his throat torn open. He's called out half the district to join in the hunt. What do you think it was? Wild dog. 
Same mongrel that wiped out your mum's turkeys and Ben Kleinig's lambs. Gotta be. Any tracks? The grass is too thick. We've got to get him, or he'll kill everything in the district. Whatever it is that's doing the killing, kill Mr. Mibus's ram as well. I go at once. No, no, Marcus, your leg. Bruno will go. But first he will have his breakfast, Emma. And doesn't his leg do what I tell it to do? It does not need it, son. See him out lending a hand. That's right, Herman. You look after your own patch first. By this time, we hmm? all know what dog it is. We never finding any clues, Herman. No proof. Proof? <laughs> what proof are you wanting? Every animal in the district he killed. That dog had never come right down in the town like this, Herman. Any more than old Ebenezer would himself. Oh, I don't know, Jack. Once blood, they have tasted. Someone should do something. What do you want us to do then? Take our guns and go out in the hills and hunt him down whether he did it or not. No, we can't do that. Not Mr. Blitz's dog. Well, don't you ask that boy what he knows, huh? Always he is in the hills talking with that madman. <laughs> ah, come on, we're wasting time. Let's go and find Mibus and call off the search. <laughs> Just look at him, will you? And send the old tight white off his head. He paid a fortune for that ram. Of his head he has been for weeks. <laughs> he went crazy the other day when I wanted to sell him my wheat. Bye, boy, you come back. You find something? No, we found nothing. Back there, all of you. Hardly started we have. It's a waste of time. Oh, we cannot go on searching for days. Of course you can. You want the animal to strike again? We must hunt him for weeks if we have to. For months. Listen. Don't push it. It's all very well for you, Mibus. We've got our own stock to look after. Come back, all of you! Where are you going? Ishman, you have to fight this killer! Come back here! You want me to do business with you? Dagmar, you have a side of a bow. Who's got snouts of both? Stop, stop! He has tied up the goat out there so that if the dog attack again, he will make a lot of noise and he will hear it up the tree. He is going in that tree to keep watch all night. Is that what he says? Don't go walking in your sleep, said Mrs. Midas. One shilling, five pence. Thank you, Mrs. Obst. Two letters from Lottie today, Bruno. One for your mother and one for Eddie Borg. Tree stand, please, Mrs. Midas. Mm -hmm. You have heard that Laura to high school in Adelaide is going. In two weeks, she is leaving. She will be living with her aunt Helga and her family. Mrs. Kleinig is telling me. Very clever she must be. Hey, Bruno? Miss Knightley says she passes easily. To any high school in Adelaide, she could be going. All right, everybody, you ready? Quickly, come on. And smiling. There you are. <laughs> Now, I want you to show us your mathematical skills by cutting six absolutely equal slices. <laughs> mm. Mm. 
Lucky you, Laura. Oh, oh, oh that piece. Do you want some of these biscuits? Oh, they look really nice. Okay, the little people. I bet the city's lots of fun. I'll make his the smallest. Hey, this one must be fuzzy. What's the next biggest one then? Oh, don't worry about it. Don't forget that Mr. Mybus is probably still outside in the tree. He'd ought to be mistaken for a pack of wild dogs and shot. Oh, dear. Oh, oh, Goodness knows when he's going to give up and start sleeping in a bed again like a normal human being. <laughs> Thank you. And you take Thank care you so of yourself, much. all right? Yes. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for coming. Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Why are you smiling? We'd still get a place in high school, you know, Bruno. It isn't too late. You did better than Laura in the test, although you didn't deserve to, did you? Think what you could do if you really tried. Go on. See you, Ben. See you, Ben. Bye, I'll see you. See you, Ben. See you, Bruno. See ya. So, are we going to drive past the paper tree? We wouldn't have to. We went to your place first. Bruno can decide. I'm not scared, though. I didn't say I was scared. Whose place do we go to first, Bruno? If we go to Louisa's first, Mr. Mimus might shoot us. He's a pretty good shot, too, which would make it more exciting. All right, then. Let's go to Louisa's place first. <coughs> we'll call 15. Opportunity. I get to stay with my aunt and uncle, and it's one less mouth to feed at home. And Dad says I can get a really good job. You know, Miss Knightley thinks you're wasting yourself not going to high school. Well, it's not up to me, is it? Even if I want to, I'm getting a bit tired of her going on and on about high school as if it was the only thing that mattered. If you really want to know something. I wouldn't leave Gananda for all the tea in China. It's a shame. It'd be nice to have a friend in the city. You'll make new friends. Goodbye, Bruno.
It was Mr. Mibers on the telephone. He shot the dog. But it got away. He says it's bleeding. And he thinks we might pick up the trail in the hills. I'll go. Did he say anything else? About the dog? Yeah. It's a Beniza Blitzes. Deine Wunde ist auch meine Wunde. Dein Blut ist auch mein Blut. Ah, goodbye, my blood. Glunder, gern. Ich wünsche einen eigenen schrecklichen Tod. Du an deiner Art. You did right to stop me. The time is not yet ripe. We must perish by fire. Moses, my boss, shall perish. He shall perish by fire. By fire! Dad, you know Ebenezer? What about him? Do you think he would, you know, do something? G'day, Marcus. You sold your wheat yet? Sold my boss on Tuesday. I can't wait any longer. Into one of his rages he went. He said I have to sell no matter what. Just make sure you get your money. Word is, he's in financial trouble himself. My boss? Take my advice. Sell as soon as you can. I must sell, Anna. I must sell. One and three pence a bushel? How can we live through the year? Of the farm only we must live. The bank man will have to wait. One and three pence a bushel. We must sell her now. Marcus, I want Lottie home. I want us all together again. Mine, mine. She's better where she is now. She's unhappy. She was the one who wanted to go. She's so stubborn. Is she the only one who was stubborn? Anna, Eddie Burke just lost his job. He wanted to marry a man with nothing. So how is he different from anybody else, huh? Nothing soon we all are having. Go to my bus and talk to him. Nur weil ich das Bein gebrochen habe und ein paar Wochen nicht hier habe, was tut das nicht? 
Very, very you sleep. have to take it like you took it every year. <laughs> Nobody is going to make business with you, Mr. Midas. Oh, oh, oh. No one makes business with me. I am the only businessman who makes business. Hello, Sergeant Charles. How about you? How important are you? I am important. I am the man. Get off me. Listen to me. Where I put my family? You must understand. This is too Mr. Midas. What is it, Sergeant? I have some news. Uh, some jelly night's been stolen. Is Ebenezer Blitz? Has to be. No, it's probably just some kids playing around, but I thought you ought to know. Why don't you go up to the hill, search his house? Because there's nothing so far to link him with the theft. I told you to arrest him when he tried to kill me up there. We need a witness, Mr. Mibus, like I told you. To hell, so a lot of you can go. Wait for me, Bruno. I'm not gonna leave before you sign the sealed papers. <sighs> you haven't seen anyone with a box full of gel ignite, have you? There's some missing from the quarry. Oh, well. See you around. Deliverance is nigh. 